miles and wild parts, if I can say so. Uh, I discovered a lot of a lot of work, definitely a lot of work, and I, an experience that would bring me something very different for the rest of my life. Uh, I, I started to work with an exchange team, which means that I was helping people that are coming from Brazil to, to have a professional experience there. So I was taking care of visa processes, taking care in the airport with a big banner and a big hug of them, and then and so on. So this was the kind of, of uh, small activities that I was doing in the beginning of my experience in 2005. Then I decided to join the marketing team and start to have some activities related with communications. Why? Because I was studying international relations, which means that my course was mainly about politics. And I said, okay, I need to know something different. Not more than what I do, but I need to know another field. I need to test it. And I decided to use Isaac as my practical university. So usually I say that I am graduated in two universities. I am graduated in international relations. I hope I will do someday. And I'm graduated in Isaac University, which means that I have a lot of knowledge in administration, in management, and in different fields of business work. Uh, in this, in between this marketing team and this communication team, I developed a lot of activities. For example, for you guys to be here someday, you have leaflets in front of you. So somebody has to create it, somebody has to think what kind of message you, gir you girls and guys want to, to read from Isaac, what is interesting for you. This is just one small example of what kind of activity you would do in marketing and communications team, for example. Uh, after being a leader of this team of communication and so on, I developed a lot of things. I put Isaac in the media, I put Isaac in the TV, and this day was very great because my grandpa called me and said, okay, your, organiz your strange organization is on the TV, and I was very happy. <laughs> Yeah. And then after, after I, I finished this, this leadership term, ruling the team of communications, I got quite addicted to this leadership thing. I saw that I really could uh, go through a path of leadership and I could really influence things in a positive way. I could really make the difference. I couldn't be like one more guy that goes to the faculty, goes home and then luckily find a nice job and that's it. I wanted something else, I wanted something different. And then I decided to be uh, the president of, of my local committee. Uh, and then on this activity, I was ruling a team of six people, and they were ruling a team of more four, more five people. So, in the end of the day, I was ruling 40 or 50 people. I was making a lot of network in Brazil. Uh, as you can imagine, Brazil is quite big, and we have uh, right now 25 local committees of Isaac in Brazil. And I was in big conferences with all these people. For example, for you to have an idea, here in Slovenia we have three different committees. We have a committee in Ljubljana, on this faculty, we have a committee in Krem, and we have a committee in Maribor. And we have the national committee to uh, coordinate these three, these three committees and facilitate the synergy between them. Uh, after this year that I was president of ISAC in Brazil, I decided that I liked this game and I wanted to play it a little more. I wanted to play a little more not because I was postponing the serious life or because I was too lazy or too not brave to go for the market or to do something like this. I postponed it because I was looking to my classmates and I was really seeing that I was different, that I was going for a path that they wanted to go but they didn't know how. And I was really living this path. And I was think thinking that I was really different from them. And this is why I decided to create a non Isaac. A new Isaac in the faculty that I was studying, and then I started an Isaac from the scratch. I remember this day, uh, it was me and two more persons together with me, the initiative group of Isaac. We just talked and talked for months, and then I said, let's create it. And then one day at the faculty, we just sit in a table, and three people, one piece of paper in white, said, okay, from this we will have to create an Isaac. So what? <laughs> and it was very strange for me because we started from nothing. And then it came. Meetings with the dean of the faculty, meetings with the professors, meetings with the students, meetings with the companies to support us, and so on. Meetings with the media to promote Isaac in our faculty, and so on. And it was a very, very, very hard experience. And at that moment I decided to experience a different thing. I decided to experience the talent management area. Which means that I was responsible for the marketing processes and for the HR processes. Which means that I was involved in the selection of the members. As you, go, uh, as you people are here to be selected uh, in Isaac, I was there in the other side, in the backstage, providing what kind of people do we need. Oh, we need people with this background, so we're going to find these people on this faculty. We need people with this background, with this background. So this was my main backstage job that I was doing in Brazil uh, with this new local committee. <laughs>